we'll have enough hangers for this, right? Maybe. I think we will. We might, yeah. We'll have something. Hello, people of the internet. I'm AJ, and welcome back to my YouTube video. So today I decided to reorganize up different parts of my closet. I got a whole bunch of new pink velvet hangers, and if you haven't heard about it already, I am obsessed with pink velvet hangers. And I also ended up coming into like a little bit of conflict with trying to figure out where to put stuff in my closet. So I hope you guys enjoy me all going through all of that. And make sure to leave like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'm gonna start with this stuff and as you can already tell I have a lot of, of the uh, pink velvet hangers in here so I'm gonna go ahead and put these. I'm gonna put these over on my bed. I'm gonna open up the box first because I forgot to do that. And that should be able to easily lift up, right? Right? Ayo! And then that. Ha! Then I can just drop this bad boy down right over here and then uh, okay so that Aha! Uh -huh. So now we got, there's two sets of these, so I think this probably half 15, the other one has 15 since there's a total of 30. I need to cut that. Please cut! I did it! Then we can just put these hangers, I'm just going to put them back in the box and I'll just pick one up to redo all my hangers with. So now we have these guys all right over here. If I can just lay them over on top of here. I'll pick one up, take out the hanger, put on the new one, put it back in the closet. And now it's not going to slide around on this. That wasn't helping. I also like how these hangers have these little like, notches in them. I don't know if you can see that. There's like notches in the hangers. So I can easily just put them little notches over there like that. Or I can move it up a little bit if I want to. But yeah. I also like how these hangers are very thin compared to like the other ones that I have because you can kind of tell the like one's like twice as thick as the other. So because they're thinner that means that I'll have more space in my closet which means I can get more clothes, right? over onto this whole side because we have a I have a lot of clothes over on this side that are like metal hangers it's like this one over here but like these like really slide around and I really just don't like them so now we can put all of my plaid and I smell the hangers so now they can all stay in place and I run over onto my closet like move clothes around my closet and I don't have to worry about my clothes falling off may or may not be covered in hangers. And then I have a few of these black velvet hangers, which I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, change those out and then use my black velvet hangers for something else because I got the black velvet hangers and like a set of five so I could try the velvet hangers to see if I like them and it turns out I do. So I think I'm going to use the black velvet hangers and more of like my costume stuff so I only have like a few costume pieces and I'll use the pink velvet hangers for like everything else. My hand just got stabbed into the cardboard. They really did me like that. So this one's rose gold and then this one's gold. And they're both on pink velvet hangers. 
Was that the... That's weird. I gotta show this to... Am I blind or something? So, after a brief conversation with my mother, found out that yes, this one is indeed gold and this one is rose gold. This one, they actually do feel like slightly different. And you can tell that this one, the more so the paint rubbed off. So, that's nice. Oh, hi, Zoe. Did you want to say hi? Alright, I'm going to go put these back in my closet. So now we just have one little gold hanger. It's fine. Well, hey, at least there's still the pink velvet hangers. Even if the handles might not exactly be perfect. That's the reason, like, return the whole set, you know? Besides, chances are all the rose gold handles turn gold, so probably over time they're all going to look the same anyways. And besides, pink and gold can be really cute. this thing anytime soon. <laughs> Alright, well first things first. Where's the tag on this? So let's go ahead and first just remove the tag. Can't believe I've had this shirt for probably like one to two years now and I never knew this still had a tag on it. for this right maybe I think we will we might yeah we'll have something like two of the pink hangers, two of these hangers left, and I still have a few other clothes in there. So now I was trying to figure out how could I possibly organize up my clothes so that this is all fitting. Alright, let's go ahead and start with something. I have these costume pieces I'd like to go ahead and hang up in a different way. So we'll go ahead and use the black hangers for that. And then for this one, we'll go ahead and take this little guy off. I'm totally not causing a mess here. What? Hanger fell on my toe. That's fine. So now everything's gonna fit. So this will go ahead and put these back. And then I'll have to either come up with some sort of solution for this or I have to get more hangers. I don't really want to get more hangers because I feel like 60 would be enough, right? I guess technically speaking, I could put like the holiday shirts. Like the seasonal shirts and it's like a box. We can figure this out. <laughs> but you know what? Let's do a few pairs of shorts because we do have these hangers for that and then I'll clean up all the stuff on the floor. <laughs> Alright, now how would I how would we open this? Oh! We're gonna make it hot! I... So now we got that done. And then they <gasps> They turn! Check that out. That's neat. Okay. So let's go ahead and replace a couple pairs of shorts in here. So then I can just easily just clip this guy on. A couple inches from the end. And we'll go over to this side. We'll go a couple inch. And by a couple, I mean one singular inch. So then we'll get this pair where we want them. And that should stay. That's cool! I like that. So essentially how these hangers work is that they're... Hold up. So you take it like this, right, and you would pop it into place once you have it where you want it to be, and you pop it out to move it back and forth. Then 
really can be different lengths and it all still fits in there. And then now I just have to figure out how I want to organize up the clothes in my closet. I can figure this out. We can do this. It can't be that hard. I have those baskets over there so I could do something. Okay, so after a brief uh, less than five minutes of thinking, I think I figured out a solution. But that's nasty. Okay. So after cleaning these things off, I think these end up being pretty good because I do have some space on some of the shelves that I can put some stuff into. We can use this temporarily. I need to clean these things off because this is gross. I'll be back. So these guys have now been cleaned five wet wipes later. And now the goal is, is that these do have some things at the bottom of them so I can like stick them in on like the wire part of my closet and hopefully we can like fold some shirts on these. <laughs> onesies that I probably don't need to be wearing the entire year round, probably should be wearing them when it's cold out, which will make them more seasonal. What if I put my onesies in my trunk? I should do that. So I'll go ahead and put that over there, because that makes more sense, because onesies should probably go with the rest of my pajamas. Now this might be able to work. So now if I put my onesies over my trunk and then I end up having all my holiday shirts that I had just like some, like an apron I was used for cooking. Then I had another, it was a cover up thing that I used for summer I probably go swimming, but we're not, you know, that's a sea more of a seasonal thing. Uh, and it's a cover up and it's not like I'm swimming 24 seven. So the old over in a basket over there. So now I think we finally might have enough hangers for everything without feeling like I have to like sacrifice a whole bunch. We'll see how this goes. door because that just makes more sense. So what if we just store them somewhere? <laughs> so much for watching so make sure to like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel so that you can be updated whenever i post all of my singing videos my dance videos my vlogs and my lifestyle videos and whenever the end card rolls around make sure to follow me on instagram and tiktok because on instagram i post a lot of my hairstyle pictures and stuff like that and on my tiktok i post other like singing and dancing videos and a lot of tiktok dances and fun stuff like that and i can't wait to see you guys in my next video <laughs>